welcome to the channel so in this video i want to show how i managed to keep food warm at a large family barbecue so i've been asked this question twice now in the past couple of weeks on the demalat facebook group how do you keep food warm at a large gathering or large family barbecue well, i think there's two things here two issues one is keeping the food warm and the other one is stopping the food from drying out so just want to cover those two areas on how i do it obviously there's lots of ways to do it this is just how i manage to uh, do that at a large family barbecue so the first thing stopping food from drying out so I'm quite old in the tooth now and at family barbecues I'd much prefer to relax just chill out with everybody else uh, who turns up meet old friends uh, that I haven't seen for a while so I don't like to stand at the barbecue anymore being almost like the pit master I've done that in the past obviously we all sort of go through that that phase I'm well away from that now so I tend to pre-cook a lot of the food and I, what's, I do something which is called reverse sear. So what I normally do is I take food in batches like barbecue chicken, uh, burgers, sausages, that type of thing, pre-cook them in the oven and then finish them off on the barbecue to have that nice barbecue taste. Now, what for one thing that's convenient and it obviously allows me to relax with friends and family at the barbecue instead of being stuck cooking all night but the second thing it does is it does reduce the amount of water molecules that the meat loses during the cooking time because the searing process is at the end and not at the start of the uh, cooking process so reverse sear is one thing so that stops the meat from drying out to keep the barbecue food warm I create a number of what's called bain maries which is basically just a water bath and then the food sits in trays on top of that water bath it's a very gentle heating process uh, much better than putting say a, a, a tray of food on top of the barbecue and again this keep both keeps the food warm but assists in stopping it from uh, drying out too much so that's what I'm going to show in this video today so I'm just going to take a portion of uh, chicken pieces we're going to put some basic barbecue sauce on I'll do the reverse here uh, and then I'll show you how I keep the food warm and present it uh, in a an acceptable way if you like when friends and family start to uh, tuck in during the barbecue so for a large family barbecue uh, this is the process that I go through just using these chicken pieces as an example so these are chicken thighs skin off bone in i've made a simple peri peri style barbecue sauce so i buy these foil trays with lids when we're having a large uh, family barbecue put the whatever i'm cooking so whether it's sausages burgers uh, chicken uh, doesn't matter what it is place it into the foil tray oil the foil tray first that stops the uh, meat from sticking and then with each foil tray you get a lid one side is foil the other side is uh, like paper for you to write on what I do is I put this to one side so I don't put this in the oven the foil trays by the way you can buy from any supermarket in the UK I buy these I think from B&M Bargains you can buy them from Pound Stretcher uh, any of those types of shops and they come in different sizes as well I think this is one of the largest that they do so I save the tray that uh, the lid that comes with the tray and I'm going to cover the foil tray with kitchen foil the reason I do this is because we want to use that lid to present the food when everybody obviously wants to tuck in and what we're going to do is when the food is cooked I'm then going to reverse sear that chicken on the barbecue just to finish it off it goes back in the tray with this lid on it then and I write on there exactly what is in the tray so that when everybody starts to tuck in they can walk up to the tray see exactly 
what is in there, open up one side, take uh, a piece of meat out and then hopefully if they've got manners they'll put the lid back and then just fold the end in to keep it nice and warm. So cover the tray with foil, it's going to go into a preheated oven, 180 degrees centigrade. The other key obviously is not to overcook anything because it does have to, it will have to stand there continually being heated uh, when you put it out for people to um, tuck into it because obviously people don't eat at the same time. Uh, you've got relatives that arrive later than everybody else. So the key here is obviously to make sure it's cooked all the way through, but don't overcook it. So I'm going to be cooking these thighs for about 40 minutes. We'll come back and then I'll show you the next step. So once our chicken's cooked in the oven, next thing to do, the barbecue on very high heat, because you're literally just going to sear the chicken on the outside. When you bake chicken like this, you'll find that the juices off the chicken will be in the bottom of the tray. So you can either leave those in, and that way the chicken will stay moist while it's being waited, uh, while you're waiting for it to be served. Or you can obviously take it out, take the juice out if you want to. So three or four minutes on either side and then the chicken goes back into that foil tray. Right, so once the chicken is done, on both sides, put it back in the foil tray. Again, I'm choosing to keep the juices off the chicken in the tray. Help to keep that uh, chicken meat nice and moist. And then if you've got a gas barbecue, turn the heat right down. Your bun marie, your bun marie sorry, is basically just a, an oven tray, an old oven tray with some hot water in there. So I've put some hot water in out of the kettle. You've got the heat from the barbecue underneath, which will keep that water nice and warm. We put our tray, sit that on top of the bain-marie. And then this barbecue then becomes a serving station. And the lid that we saved, that we didn't use in the oven because we want it, want it to be nice and pristine. So that goes on the top, right on the top what it is. And that is it, your food will stay lovely and warm. Obviously when people come to help themselves, they can see exactly what's in the tray. They'll just open it a little bit, take out what they need, and then hopefully they'll replace the tray and just bend the ends over. And again, that keeps the food nice and warm. So if you find that the barbecue you've got, the surface area is too small to accommodate all of the food that you've made, then you can go out and buy some of these relatively cheap instant barbecues. This size will fit two of those uh, bain maries on top. If you're going to use one of these and you're placing it onto anything like um, wooden garden furniture, then make sure you've got some bricks separate and making sure there's a good gap between the bottom of the disposable barbecue and the surface of the garden furniture. So same principle as before, bummery on top. Once the disposable barbecue is lit and then you just place your food trays on there and again it's exactly the same. So there you go, how to keep your food warm at a large family barbecue and also how to stop it from drying out. I hope that's answered the question for the two uh, members of the Demalat Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Demalat Facebook group, then please join. I'll put a link in the description below this video. 
and please subscribe to this channel your support is really appreciated thank you very much for watching